Hello and welcome to the Disney Stranger channel. I'm the Disney Stranger and today I'm at Lake Buena Vista, Florida. Yes, about one mile from Disney Springs and about one block from the entrance to Disney Springs. So here I ask the question, where can you go to stay really close to Disney that's not at Disney on property, but it's within walking distance? Where can you stay close to Disney Springs within walking distance that you don't have to pay those resort fees? A lot of those Disney Springs hotels have resort fees and parking fees. There's a hotel just outside of Disney Springs called the Delta Marriott. And that's where I am here today. They don't charge parking fees and they don't charge resort fees um, because it's not on the Disney property. But it is so close. Like if I left right now, I could be on Disney property in literally three or four minutes. But to actually get to Disney Springs will probably take another 20 minute walk. So uh, that's what I'll do at the very end of the video. I'm gonna walk from here to there I'll show you the way. It's really close and it's not that far away. I wouldn't suggest it for little kids to do the walk, but if you have if you have teenagers or you're a bunch of adults and you're staying near Disney or want to stay near Disney and walk to Disney Springs, you can do it. I did it last night. I walked and it took me about 20 minutes from the bridge over uh, Disney Springs to here. So let's go take a look at the resort behind me. Let's go. So it is very gorgeous inside the lobby here. I was very impressed the moment that I walked into the place. This place looks beautiful. Great place to just camp out after a long day at the parks and take a rest. Looks very comfy, does it not? So we have a nice great lounge area right in the back of the hotel. Uh, the grass is not real, it is fake grass, but it's a nice place to relax in the afternoon and at night too. You can bring your drinks out from the bar and uh, lounge out here. And right next to it is the swimming pool. A fairly large swimming pool at that. It's very nice and it is heated. At the far end there is a jacuzzi, but I'll get a picture of that from the room because there are a few people inside the jacuzzi at the moment. So I'll take a picture outside of the room and you'll get to see the jacuzzi. Here's the bar, which will be open later tonight. Right here in the middle of the lobby. Over in this direction, we have a cafe. I believe breakfast is uh, $17. And they even have Mickey Waffles. Look at that, Mickey Waffles. And this was open this morning. fourth floor. Look at these beautiful Asian inspired carpets. They are very beautiful. Look at that. Very pretty. My room is 406. So let's go in and check it out. There we go. Starting off with the beds. Look at those beds. Very soft, very nice. I spent a night here last night and it was very, very comfortable.
great size room for a party of four and a little bit bigger than you would get if you stayed on property for this price. There is even a coffee maker there, a Cuisinart, I believe, and some tea. Nice large TV screen. And uh, it was very nice that they had two two bottles of water waiting for me when I got up here, so I didn't have to pay for them. They came with the room. And looking out, I can see the pool down below. Very large pool and a jacuzzi hot tub. I was just down at the pool a little bit earlier. It was a bit breezy today, but it was very nice. There is a refrigerator in the room, which is also very nice, very handy. There's the Disney Stranger. Hello, everyone. Here we have the bathroom. It's actually a little bit small, but it's not too bad. Your basic tub. Nothing fancy. It is very comfortable and it's very clean. I think it's the most important thing that it's very clean. You want a nice, clean hotel room next to Disney. The Delta Marriott is for you. The best thing about this hotel, it's within walking distance to Disney Springs, but you don't have to pay the resort fee and you don't have to pay for parking. Parking is free. And lastly, we'll just take out the closet, which does come with the safe inside like most hotel rooms do. There's a Disney Stranger wardrobe, another one of my hats. Here we have the safe. And there you go, a little quick tour of my room here at the Delta Marriott. I'm just out front of the Delta Marriott. I'm right here at Violent Apopka Road and downtown and Disney Springs is right there behind me, one block down that direction. There's plenty of restaurants within walking distance also to this hotel. There's a Cadoba right next door. There's also a Miller Ale House right behind the hotel. And right across the street we have a Burger King and an Angus Steak right over there. So there's plenty to eat. Plenty of things that you, if you need to get at the convenience store, just run right over there. So right now I'm gonna walk over to Disney Springs. I got a stopwatch, I'm gonna see exactly how long it takes. So there, are, here I go, start. And I'm gonna start walking to Disney Springs. And like I said, it's one block down, and I make a right, and there's the entrance to Disney Springs. So let's go take this walk. Here we have it going on three minutes. It took me three minutes to walk down that path down there. That's not bad. So right here is the entrance to Disney Springs. And if you look behind me, there's um, a McDonald's and an, a, a Chevy's and Pizzeria Uno right over there. Uh, if you're wondering why they're closed, if you come here and you notice they're all boarded up and you can't eat there anymore, that's because Disney actually owns that property over there and they're gonna tear down all of that. I think there's even a shopping center back there. They're gonna bulldoze it and they're making an off ramp. They're going to make an off ramp uh, right up I-4. They'll come directly here to the entrance. Because if you've been through this entrance before, you know there's tons and tons of traffic here. It's like ridiculous sometimes. It's not too bad now, but sometimes it just takes forever to come down this road. So now hopefully it'll be eased up that there's an off ramp right over there. So let's go ahead in for more walking and our tour. Has anyone else walked? 
this path to Disney Springs before. All right, it's eight and a half minutes so far, and I've made it to the Double Tree, one of the first hotels that you reach when you uh, drive into Disney Springs. Here it is, 13 and a half minutes. I am in front of the Amateur Athletic Union. Yes, if anyone knows any history about Walt Disney World, it's that this building right here, which is now the Amateur Athletic Union, was the original Welcome Center and was actually open before the parks were open, before the Magic Kingdom was open. This was open in 1970, and there was a preview inside of what Disney World was gonna be, and that's where it is, and it was the first building to be open here to the public. So I'm gonna continue on my journey, flipping the camera around. At 16 minutes off of Hotel Plaza Boulevard, I'm at the Reedy Creek Improvement District. And for those who know, Reedy Creek is a municipality that runs Walt Disney World. And if you've been on Hotel Plaza Boulevard before, you'll know about the sheriff car that no one sits in right over there. It's got its lights on at night. 18 and a half minutes and I've made it to the Hilton across the street and the Wyndham on the side, right over there. If you're interested in staying at the Wyndham Hotel, make sure you check out our other hotel vlog. You can check out in the description below. Well, there you go, folks. 22 and a half minutes. That's how long it took me to go from the Delta Marriott all the way to Disney Springs. Right over there, look at that. It was a fun walk. It was a nice day. I had a great time. And if you don't feel like walking, you can always take an Uber over. And it should be pretty cheap because it's really not that far away. So thanks again for joining me on this Delta Marriott tour of the room and the hotel and the walk over to Springs. We really appreciate you guys stopping by and checking out these videos. Then guys, remember, before I leave, don't forget to walk forward. Thanks for watching guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please click the like button below. Your comments are welcome. Don't forget to click like and subscribe to the Disney Stranger channel. And walk forward. <laughs>